Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning code igniter for framework tutorial. This is our part number 13. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about and start working over with raw queries. In the last video, successfully we have connected with the database inside our application. So if we want to run any query inside that database, then first we need to make our table. So what I will do, back to browser, go inside this, let's say learn underscore CI for tutorials. This is the database what we have created in the last video. Now inside this, if I create a much simpler table like table underscore users, which has, let's say four columns. And inside this, the first column should be something ID, which is auto increment and let's say primary key. Name is the second column. Email is the third column. And finally, let's say we have a phone number. Now, selecting our data type for these columns. So it should be where care. Length should be 30 characters. Where care. 120 characters. Where care and 120 characters now next for this id we need to go here it should be auto increment and index name is primary so now by doing after doing all these things click on save now successfully we have created our first table called tba underscore users inside this database so right now inside this table we don't have any row so by the help of raw query we are going to insert our data inside this table so back to editor go inside this site controller and remember this is the connection means this db instance what we have created in the last video so what i will do simply make a method insert data using raw query and inside this let's say public function insert raw and inside this we will make our code so first of all we need to make a route for that press ctrl b go inside config routes.php press ctrl b again and here what i will do if I make a single line comment raw queries here it will be routes get it will be let's say raw hyphen insert it is going to call site controller and inside site controller the method actually we are defining is something insert row now save all these changes go inside this controller now inside this method what i will do simply by the help of this db instance we are going to interact with the our database and inside that database inside tb underscore users table we will insert our data so to insert our data here inside this video we are using the concept of raw queries raw queries indicates or simply means that we are going to write our query something insert into means our full raw query here we are not going to use any concept of query builder class as well as models based club concept because these concepts we will see in later videos so what i will do inside this function block let's say insert underscore query here we need to write our raw insert query so something insert into the table name we have called tbl underscore users we need to specify the column so as we know that we have four columns inside this table in which one column is id which is auto increment so we want the value inside this name email and phone number back to editor name email phone underscore number here we need to specify values and we need to pass the values for these specified columns so what i will do inside the single quotes let's say sanjay this is the name email address something 
dummy value if I toggle word wrap and in the next we need to specify the phone number so passing a dummy value so successfully we have now written our raw query so either we can run our query from this like code or by means copy that code go inside here open up this SQL editor and if I directly put our query inside that hitting enter and as we can see that it is inserting a row inside this table click on browse and here is the row that we are getting but this time actually this query we have run via this SQL editor of phpMyAdmin so instead of that what I will do we are going to run our query by means of CodeIgniter 4 concept of raw queries now this is our query by the help of this DB instance means this DB we are going to use query method and inside this query method simply pass the variable called insert underscore query what I will do simply I will bind inside this if block because after executing this query it is going to return a value so inside if we are checking that if suppose we have some value it means with the, within this h3 tag let's say value has been inserted otherwise we have a else block inside this else block simply let's say inside this h3 tag field to insert value now if you save this change go here and if we write our route called index.php and the route we have created for this called raw hyphen insert so copy and pasting it here press enter value has been inserted now if I go to table click on browse and as we can see that we have now a row this is all about for our insert query so in the same way we can write our raw queries for update and delete as well back to editor go here and instead of this insert let's say public function update query and inside this instead of update let's say update raw query and inside this functional block we need to pass our query so here let's say it's a query variable we need to write our query so we are using the concept of raw query so update we need to pass the table name this is the syntax we need to pass our updated value so set let's say name equal to online web tutor also we want to update email address so here let's online web tutor hub at gmail.com and finally we want to update the phone number as well so we are passing again a dummy value and this is going to update the TPL users table but we need to specify a where condition else it is going to update all the rows with these values inside that table so what I will do let's survey id equals to and inside this table for this data we have the id equal to 2 so what I will do where id equal to 2 after writing this update raw query what I will do simply we need to use this db query method and here we need to pass our query variable simply copy this if else block pasting it here and instead of this insert query variable this time we are using query variable remove this line and value has been updated and failed to update value next we need to make a route so copy this route pasting it here so it will be raw update and this time it is going to call this update raw query method so save this file save this file as well go here 
and instead of route raw insert if I copy the route name go here pasting it here pressing enter and we have a known column mobile and I think that we have the phone number so copy and instead of using mobile actually the column we have taken as phone number so copy and paste reload value has been updated click on browse and as we can see that this time for this ID 2 we have now updated value again if you go here let's raw insert pressing enter value has been inserted and we have one more row inside this table now let's say that we are going to use the concept of delete query now so what I will do public function delete raw query and inside this function block let's make a variable so query equal to we need to write the raw query of delete operation so delete we need to pass the table name table users and finally actually delete from table name and we need to pass our where condition otherwise it is going to delete all the rows from that table so we want we don't want to delete all the rows instead we will specify a id let's say id equals to and we want to delete this third number id so id equal to 3 and to execute a raw query we have this db and query method inside this query method we are going to pass this query variable and inside this if block let's say that within h3 tag data has been deleted otherwise we have else block ego and simply let's say failed to delete now if we save this change back to routes.php copy this route pasting it here this is update so up instead it will be delete and this time it is going to call delete raw query so copy paste copy this go here instead of raw insert this time we have row delete pressing enter data has been deleted and as we can see that the third number row has been deleted from this table so successfully guys inside this video now we have used the concept of raw queries by the help of this db instance and we have done the operation of insert update and delete so in the next video we will do the, do the operation of like selecting data selecting data by means of array format or if we want to get the object format we have methods for that so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day